NASCAR driver Tony Stewart struck and killed an out-of-car driver Kevin Ward Jr. who was trying to confront Stewart on the track during a Spring Cup race Saturday night. Stewart didn't race in a scheduled NASCAR event on Sunday, and now the questions are being raised as to whether this was an accident or if, in fact, there's more to the story. Here to help us break down the legal ramifications of Stewart's actions on Saturday, Sports Illustrated legal analyst Michael McCann. Mike, thanks for being with us here. Can you tell us if Tony Stewart could possibly be facing any type of criminal action as a result of this most unfortunate situation? Well, so far, the sheriff has said that no criminal charges are pending, and that's good news for Tony Stewart. But other information could surface, and the investigation has only begun. We don't know if the other persons who were there have videos on their iPhone. You know, it's something to watch, uh, watch for on YouTube to see if other people post videos of the race. We don't know if other racers will, will give testimony or at least public statements that, that reflect poorly upon Stewart. I don't think he's going to face murder charges or anything that serious, but it is possible he could face something called negligent homicide, which under New York law re re involves reckless, careless behavior that causes essentially an accidental death. It isn't about trying to kill someone or anything like that, but because of the way you behave so recklessly, you could be charged with a felony, and that felony carries up to four years in prison. But I want to be clear, there's no information yet that he's going to be charged with anything, and we're only speculating, you know, thinking that he could eventually face charges. Now, how do you think NASCAR proceeds here? Do they need to take any kind of action against Stewart? Well, I think NASCAR will look at this and say this was not a NASCAR race. This was a very different type of racing than NASCAR or IndyCar. But on the other hand, he does reflect NASCAR. He brings the image of NASCAR into this story, uh, given that he's a NASCAR champion. And we know that when the NFL and NBA have athletes who get in trouble off the field or off the court, they can face suspensions, whether it's Ray Rice or Raymond Felton. It wouldn't surprise me if NASCAR does suspend Tony Stewart, although I think they'll wait to see how the investigation moves forward. If he isn't charged with a crime, I think NASCAR will be less motivated to punish him Although I wouldn't surprise me if ultimately he does face some kind of punishment. You think any rule change is going to come to this as far as drivers not being able to get out of their cars? Obviously, you know, a deadly situation here. You hope to prevent that in the future. You think there'll be any rule changes? It's possible. I, I know that from everything I hear, drivers are strongly discouraged from leaving their car at any time unless their car is on fire or there's other kind of imminent peril by being in the car and that most drivers seem to abide by that informal rule, but maybe that rule needs to be put in stone. Maybe it has to be expressly stated so that drivers get in trouble if they leave their car. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this clip from our daily show, SI Now. You can find a link to the complete episode in the description box below. And while you're there, make sure you subscribe to Sports Illustrated's YouTube channel. Remember, you can watch SI Now Monday through Friday live at 1 p.m. Eastern only on SI.com. We'll see you there.